Hello everyone, my name is Cosmo versus Goku. I am Twisted Flames. So you had to reverse it from last week's one where you just decided to just lay ages? Yeah. I'm but, that guy. Yeah. I was gonna what I was gonna do was uh, quickly introduce you and then say we're not gonna do the silence thing this week, but you're being into it. I do what I can. Do you want to get started? Let's go. Opening nine. Opening nine. Why isn't that working? Let's try it this way. Somewhere else. And here we go. Oh, you weren't kidding about the um the way that you, uh, the the logo is different. Mm. Yeah, it gets mixed up every time. I always get really, really anxious whenever I see Luffy. Oh, mm. uh, whenever I see Luffy over the um, over the water. Yeah, that's fair. It's nice to see Frankie animate as well. <laughs> hey, you haven't seen anime again. This is definitely the HD era of those colors. Very fine. This is just as true as I was about to say, it's uh, heading in the throw bar. Throw his best character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love these, you know, things showing their powers. Yeah. Uh, or the All when they're kicking and attacking. Yeah. yeah, I really love that gimmick. Was that in re reverse recruitment order? Yes. It was. Yeah, see, I'm picking up on this now. It's all wrong now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like these because it's like I've just stuff going on in the background. Yeah. So you got the foreground stuff and then there's something else going on as well. Yeah. And it's just nice to see them walking together as friends as well. For sure. Um, I'm going to have to go through these like frame by frame just looking at what's happening in the background. Oh yeah. That was Dora. Right? Oh, sure. That was the time I recognized any of those guys. That's the most evil he is Yeah, he looks super evil there. What why? Weird. <laughs> Got a shot with the sunny kid. Yeah, that was really, really good. That's why I didn't say anything. I was just fast. <laughs> um, but didn't actually show the mini Mary. Yeah, I like that because that was a big reveal. Yeah, that was a really good emotional reveal. Mm. It was solid. Oh, those colors. Pretty. Yeah. Every time I end on something that's not the the, 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 crew. the crew, I get really angry because <laughs> the, the last room of the crew is always really fucking pretty. Mm. Um, mm. For sure. Uh, but I do like the use of colour throughout. Um, yeah, I'm commenting on that a lot. I think you're just so used to the manga. I must be. <laughs> and for the most for the first, or, like... Or for early anime episodes where it wasn't quite as bright and colourful. Yeah, and the colours weren't as rich as they are. But even in this final shot with all this treasure, I really love the difference in shades of yellow and gold to differentiate the the pieces of jewelry and, and riches i do i do like that your big focus is the color in this one especially going to thrill dark which is a very dark arc that's not intentional <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to stress that it's not intentional yeah. um but and i also like the um the the wood burning of the um of one piece into the side of that barrel hmm. um no this one was fun um but it, it, i love the the sense of foreboding as it faded from that filler arc which i have no idea what the fuck that was that was the, what was it, the Icebreakers arc? It was basically a filler arc with a pirate crew that was stealing pirate flags. That sounds interesting. From crews. Yeah. Um, and the main villain of that arc fit into a very big trope with One Piece with characters who have heat-based abilities. Okay. Not fire-based, heat-based. Heat-based, okay. So characters similar to other. Yep. And there's been like four Devil Fruits, three which are non-canon, yeah. that are all very similar abilities. That's annoying. It's funny. So yeah. It's just it's just the, oh, this is an opponent that Luffy can't touch straight away. Yeah. Or he has to, but burns himself and stuff like that. So it's very interesting. I also like the um the the panning shot from um let's see if I can bring it up. Uh it was before that. Before Evil Luffy. Uh, so it's got the like the 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 cool colours with the the ice yeah, yeah. and everything. Uh, 
And then we head over into Thriller Bar, and it's got its real sense of foreboding, and like, shit's about to go down. very dark colours in there, that um, mix of air. Yeah, and the purples and the pinks, it's just, mm. it's also gorgeous. To look I at. love the lollas in that. Yeah. Like, of all the characters to include, <laughs> yeah. it's got Lola. It's like, why? Um, but then again, Lola ended up becoming quite an important character oh, yeah, long term. For sure, for sure. But it's just, it's just, of all the characters in Thriller Bark, it's such a weird one. Like, yeah. no Ryuma. Yeah. No Shindri. Yeah. No, uh, none of the Bat Dude. I can't remember what his name was. No Brook in this shot. No, obviously no Brook, but that's because they have yeah. run in this shot as the villains. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just like, it's weird to have no Ryuma. Especially, like, Ryuma was a major fight. Yeah. Yeah, they throw um, Oars. Oars in there. Yeah. Oars makes sense. Yeah, but it was, he was still kept under wraps for a long, lot of the art. Oh, yeah, but at least he's, like, in this one, he's, like, in the very background. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a transformation or something of my rough. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm happy with this one. Nice. Excellent. Um, I don't know, um, ranking these down is going to be so difficult. <laughs> um, I, I might have to do a separate solo video for that just so I can properly focus on thinking about it. That's fair. Um, all right. Uh, so we will be, um, yeah, that's back with number 10. Number 10 next week. Excellent. We'll see you guys then. Thanks so much. Bye.